Canada has just approved the world's first genetically modified food animal, an Atlantic salmon that's been engineered to grow twice as fast as normal. I sure didn't know that was going to happen, and I'll bet you didn't either. I'm Karen Riston, Executive Director at Living Oceans. For over 15 years, we've been working to protect wild salmon for healthy oceans and the communities that depend on them. The federal government's approval of GM salmon took us all by surprise. They wouldn't even tell us that they were considering this approval. It was all done in secret with no public debate whatsoever. From what we've been able to find out, the approval carries with it a risk that GM salmon might escape and become invasive, threatening wild stocks that are struggling to survive. That's why we've launched this lawsuit together with our colleagues at Ecology Action Centre in Halifax. I believe Canadians have a right to know about decisions like this in advance of them being made so that we can express our views and have them taken into account. It's generally our practice before we get started on any work to plan for it and fundraise for it. In this case, we didn't have that opportunity. The government's decision only came to light when our lawyers found a notice of it published in the Canada Gazette and we had to act fast. There was a limitation period on bringing an action in the court. We took that plunge knowing that there are thousands of people like you out there who are concerned about wild salmon and about democracy. You can help today by donating to our legal fund right here at Indiegogo. Even though our lawyers will be representing us free of charge, we'll have expenses like out-of-pocket expenses for court filing fees, experts fees, and our own staff costs to bear. I know you care about wild fish and I hope you'll help us today.